Hey everybody, it's Tasha Fuller, your favorite author, publisher, self-publishing coach. I am on the water today filming a video uh, for you. Um, today I want to talk a little bit, and this would be part four, of what to do next. So you've written your book, you've gone through review and revision, and now it's time for you to send your book to the editor. And the editor, like I said, is gonna make grammatical changes, sentence structure, things um, like that. So while the editor has your book in play, what you need to be working on as a self-published author is you need to be working on your marketing and public relations. What's your strategy? How are you going to sell your book? What are you going to do next? So one of the first things that you need to do um, if you're not a children's book author, and I'll talk a little bit about what to do if you're a children's book author and how you work with your illustrator in another video, but everybody needs to do this whether you're a children's book author motivational author it doesn't matter what kind of author you're gonna be if you're publishing your own book you have to think about your marketing strategy because the real work actually begins once your book is published like once you've sent the book to the printer what are you doing next and we'll talk about how you upload your book and um, that in another video so two other videos how to work with the illustrator and how do you get your book ready for press that will be in two separate videos um, but while your book is at the editor you want to start looking at things like your domain name, um, making sure you have a following on your social media, uh, and what social media outlets are you connected to, How? what's your niche, and who do you want to target. So you have to think about your marketing strategy because you're going to need to sell, sell your books. One of the things that you can use your social media platform for is you can start building your story um, as you're writing your book. So... <clears throat> You're going to write your book and you are going to make sure that you start telling people from the beginning, hey, I'm writing a book. You give them little teasers and you talk about um, the process and what you're doing. If you have an illustrator, you give them an option to select um, your book cover or a page in your book or you post something that's going to kind of get people, capture people's attention. So when you um, you do that, you start making your video. And sorry, my kids and stuff are behind me as we're kayaking through the quarantine. Uh, so you want to make sure that you are building up your storyline. You're going to get your website and always provide a link to your website from um, any post that you make. You want to do that as soon as possible. Um, you can set your book up to pre-order and that is so important even if the book is not available but if you have a cover or if you have a visual that you can use where people where you're creating the storyline you want to make sure that people have an opportunity to purchase your book in advance you can sell your book even when it's not ready that's what's called a pre-order even if it's two months down the road I don't suggest it doing more than two months down the road um, but you can sell your book in advance you can click they can pay for it and you can start selling your book because the goal as a self-published author is that you want to break even by the time you're ready to release your book I've always broken even every time I've published a book I've already sold at least 250 copies before the book goes live and I want to make sure that I've already sold my book so part of that is having no domain name um, that was kind of like a thing for me first I did it as a picture cover like okay this is the title of my book so this is what my domain is going to be um, and then I realized as I created more books I couldn't create a domain for every single book so try to use something that people are going to remember whether you have a series and you pick a series and then you have um, it, or using your name, some iteration of your name. Most of the time, my husband's trying to get in the video. <laughs> Most of the time, if you use an iteration of your name, it's gonna be easier for people to remember and you want people to know them. So the first website I had was, it's Bath Time Baby, that was the name of the book. And then I did another website for Little Freddy's in the Zone. And so then I'm carrying two websites. Um, and then I was carrying another website for the third book. And then finally I was like, okay, enough is enough. How can I bring everything under this umbrella and so I just came up with Tasha's books. So it's simple, I'm Tasha and these are my books. So everything that I do with my publishing company comes under Tasha's books. And um, as a publisher, it just makes it easier for people to go to one site and um, find all of your information there, whether you're doing something different or you're doing something the same, being consistent and using it as a market, marketing strategy helps to um, 
let people know where to go to find all of your products. So you wanna be thinking about your marketing strategy. Also make sure that you are using your social media. You're going to sell books on social media. That's how you're gonna do it. So um, when you create your social media platforms, make sure that you are having followers, you're getting likes, and people are actually sharing your content on the page. Always post your link to your website on your social media page so that people know where to go to buy your book. It's great if they buy it from Amazon, but it's better if they buy it from you because um, you're going to make more money off of your books. We'll talk about pricing strategies in another video, um, but this is the one really about what to do when your book is at the off. Uh, the editor so you're not sitting around twiddling your thumbs you also need to get a professional photo shoot get a professional photo shoot because that's so important you want to market yourself as professional as possible and you want to continue to move your brand forward because you're selling your brand and people are going to be looking for stuff um, as they are looking for you at front, as the author so some of the things that you want to do is make sure that you get your website and your domain you want to make sure that you keep your social media page up and then you also want to um, get some professional photos done you should also be gearing up to your release um, as soon as you start working on this stuff you need to be working on your release party so that you give people a time and a day to come and see your book whether it's through a local library I've done it at the library I've done it at a clubhouse I've done um, releases at coffee shops wherever you can get people to come and purchase your books and if you can get them to purchase them in advance before they come so get your copy in advance um, you can even tell them that you're not selling copies on site you have to have your book pre-ordered um, so that you know how many books to bring and then of course bring a few extra books for those who you don't know who are coming so when your book is at the editor, there is still work to be done. Don't think that you can just sit back and chill and wait for the editor to come. You need to get your website together. You need to get your press material together. You need to be working on your social media pages. You need to be coordinating your um, press release. So those are just a couple of things that you could be doing uh, while your book is at the editor. I will come back to you again with another short video on, like I said, pricing, working with illustrators, um, and other topics that you need to know as far as uh, being a self-published author. Again, this is Tasha Fuller. Um, I'm with Tasha Books, and I provide uh, self-publishing coaching. I'm an author, self-publishing coach, and a publisher. See you next time.